Business Plus Design. Dunn and Martin, 2006, suggest that the addition of design thinking to business education better prepares graduates for the business demands of the 21st century. Adler, 1997, encourages business schools to actively look towards the arts in order to produce well rounded graduates. Adler suggests that, the time is right for the cross fertilization of the arts and leadership. P. 488. In response, faculty members from a business school developed a partnership with faculty members from the design department of an art school to create a course which integrates business thinking and design thinking to effectively address business problems. The business design faculty team developed the course as an action learning consultancy project that incorporates a reflective process into the educational experience. The faculty members organized the students into teams consisting of both business students and design students. Teams are formed with complementary expertise and, when possible, personalities. Each week teams submit a project progress report, and individual students submit a reflection of their observations, learning, their questions, and next steps. The faculty team plans mini lectures, presentations, and workshops by the faculty, clients, and successful, innovative business and design guest speakers. Sessions address presentation skills, business metrics, marketing principles, strategy, project management, finance principles, cost analysis, corporate culture, innovation, design principles, design feasibility, and power issues. Additionally, Business students and design students teach each other the essentials of their respective disciplines. Student teams begin the project by developing and executing a research agenda that involves traditional and innovative approaches to understand both the clients and the issues under study. The students develop surveys, analyze the results, and conduct on-site research at retail outlets. Each team submits a weekly project team progress report and students submit individual weekly reflections, De Filippi, 2001, Seibert and Dodelan, 1999, Sean, 1987. The faculty developed a scoring rubric to provide feedback at the midpoint, rehearsals, and final summative grade conference. Faculty analyze the team reports, reflections, documentations of learning and videos using a text analysis system and the cycle of design thinking, Dunn and Martin, 2006, to identify cognitive, behavioral, and attitudinal change. Faculty assess student learning through evaluation of presentations, PowerPoint slide decks, reflections, documentation of learning, and team assessment. Reviews by the business client and guest faculty members serve as indicators of relevance to the business environment, feasibility, creative thinking, and team performance.